All right. Hi, Denver. How are you? I am well. And yourself? Doing good. I would like to put in a disclaimer. Okay. Anything that I say in this interview does not reflect the views of the administration or board of the Williams County Public Library, my employer, or any organization or club of which I'm a member. So we're back. All right. So yes, I wanted to know more about the history of theater in Bryan that you have uncovered. Well, um, not just theater, it's basically arts in, in Bryan and Williams County. Mm -hmm. um, if, if, if you can imagine in 1820 when we became a county, this was considered the frontier. So for the first 50 years of our existence, art was the not even in the top 10 things that need to be done. You had to establish a town, industry. Um, so art really didn't take off until the late 19th century. And I do have to, to mention that we have to give credit to the women of this town because all of the art came from women's groups and from church, women's church groups. And uh, if it weren't for the women of Bryan, and uh, I don't think they get enough credit for this, there would be no cultural life here. Uh, I came from a university town to, to, to Bryan, which is complete <laughs> culture shock. I mean, complete culture shock. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and then I found out about the Williams County Community Theater and they were doing a show called Proof and I, I had read it and saw a version of it and wanted to be in it and auditioned and got the role and the rest as they say is history. The opportunities that were here in 1970 are not here and they never will be here again. In that, in that particular form. Right. You will not be able to get just a high school diploma, get hired in and 30, 40 years later, retire having spent your entire life in, in one factory. Mm -hmm. And that isn't just Brian, that's nationwide. There, there, there is still that sort of early 20th century, late 19th century strata that art is for a certain class, mm -hmm. a certain intellectual framework. Mm -hmm. Balderdash. Yeah. I mean, no. Agreed. And I think that... And that's the other conversation I, just outside of art that we need to have in, 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 in not just in Bryan, but maybe in small towns and smaller cities and that's that's class yeah and class expectations and classism mm -hmm. uh the other I, th I i really hope that we have these little threads of culture we have painters and we have potters and we have performers um i would like to see us coalesce into into a group yes. even if it is meeting once a month to have coffee at cora and just game out an idea um, the grandiose things in my head that I see for this town, I'm not going to live to see, even if I start putting the seeds here. And I'm okay with that. The artistic artifact will outlast long after our politics and our economies and our, our military feats. It's, yeah. You build a society on paint and poetry. 